here is a case of unedited video of a posterior thyroid valve progression in two years male baby with thulium fiber laser most of the times uh, we don't get opportunity to see uh, how the fulguration is done with laser so previously i shared one video again one more case i am sharing the important problem with posterior thyroid valve is you can never see it uh, uh, when you go retrograde because you will go through the hole you will not see the curtain naturally bladder will be distended better to empty always while coming back coming back veru identification is must anything before veru we should not do anything between the veru and sphincter in the span of around 5 mm to 1 cm see these flaps on either side is the first clue beyond the veru and anterior to that wall will be there and this will be usually seen anti grade so here veru you have to cross even if you touch with the laser see here these are the these are the, you cannot see the curtain you should see see this is a flap and this flap continues anteriorly so fulguration of the posterior surface has no meaning see here i am fulgurating at the level of 5 and 7 o'clock position uh, the, you can see the floppy wall and from here i will come anteriorly here that that's this is a bit imagination to be honest and continuously maintaining the stretch on the penis see i am coming anteriorly see this is the uh, important part every time you have to, this is the veru opening of the duct and now while coming out every time while coming out only you have to activate short buds and uh, thus that see i am i am seeing the veru suddenly it slips off and uh, that uh, the, this area so it should be the laser fiber should be at the tip of the nephroscope this is actually 7.5 french nephroscope uh, from the coral stars and uh, see here while coming out it is always falling so you can never do it in a, a demonstration if uh, if you do it in anti grade yes it can be done and one more thing is uh, if you uh, if electrocautery if you damage the sphincter incontinence can occur but with laser if you fulgurate people say usually fulgurate less than more see this is the this is the curtain this is the curtain so as i came out and in out and in this is the dilated urethra i am coming out and whenever the dilatation stops beyond the veru that is this is the wall so this wall will be present predominantly thick wall will be present anterolateral not posteromedial the first which one this this posteromedial is not important this anterior is more important and uh, uh, a bit of uh, see again when it when it pushes the scope out it is the sphincter so every time you have to cross the sphincter go inside see the veru come out and then anterior this is a totally unedited video anteriorly you can fulgurate like this and chances of stricture will be there see this is this is the this is the uh, wall now as you do small small fulguration you will understand where the curvature of the flap is turning anteriorly so this uh, we have learnt from the uh, senior pediatric urologist uh, when he used to guide us in fact he doesn't uh, use this laser but he used to guide uh, every time when we do and we could uh, understand and our results are convincing that's why i am sharing the video so th this part is not the real obstructing uh, laser slightly anterior see you can see this 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 is the uh, mm. you will be surprised in this patient after 10 days i have taken the video of passing the urine absolutely no incontinence but my feeling is that i have done a little more in this case uh, see this is the voiding and is able to control in between you can you can avoid excess see you can control and pass that means continence is not at all a problem if the continence is not a problem we can go back and do the coagulation again and we can uh, look for the regrowth of the mucosa to avoid the stricture and uh, long term follow up anyway is required as discussed many times
थैंक यू